So now it is time to go over some Packers minicamp updates. Their practice just ended in the past couple hours. And I have different tweets from reporters breaking down sort of what went down today at Packers minicamp. So I want to touch on all of the, at the I'd say, bigger things, most important things that I've seen so far that have come out about Packers minicamp. But if you guys are new here, you haven't subscribed, I put out Packers content daily. News, updates, rumors, all that stuff. So feel free to subscribe down below. And feel free to follow my new Instagram account as well where I put out more Packers stuff over there. So it is great that Aaron Rodgers is here this week at minicamp. I mean, for the Packers receivers, for him to build all that chemistry um, with all these different guys. And so there's a few different things to touch on regarding that and then some other things as well. So first off here from Rob Domofsky, we have David Bottiari in baseball cap is still with the rehab group. So this isn't too much of a surprise. Matt LaFleur last week said, that you know the Packers' plan has been to hold Bautiari out until training camp, and hopefully he'll be ready for training camp. And with that knee injury that he's been dealing with for the past year and a half, you would think by now he'd be ready to go. Um, and maybe he is. Maybe he just needs to have some more time with the rehab group. But it is a little concerning for me personally. I, I hope he will be ready to go when training camp does come around. But right now the Packers are continuing to hold him out. Then we have here, I think this is one of the, the best tweets to see today, from Ryan Wood. It's on air, but Christian Watson... Just caught a 45-yard bomb from Aaron Rodgers. Drew a polite drew a polite applause from the fans at minicamp. And that is one thing I hope that this season we see lots and lots of. So there's no question. I think there is lots of anticipation for what Christian Watson can become. You know, with the Packers willing to trade two of their second-round picks to move up to the top of the second round and get Christian Watson. And with him being 6'4", insanely fast, and a very, you know, solid player in college. I think that us Packers fans, we're very hopeful that Christian Watson can hopefully come in in year one and do some damage. We know rookies take time to develop, but to see him and Rodgers connecting, I mean, that's that's just a great sight to see. And then moving on about the Packers starting defense from Ryan Wood. Packers starting nickel. Kenny Clark, Jaron Reed, Rashawn Gary, Preston Smith, Devondra Campbell, Quay Walker, Jair Alexander, Eric Stokes, Rasul Douglas, Adrian Amos, Darnell Savage. Quay Walker elevated to first team over Chris Barnes. Didn't take long. So that was one thing last week at uh, Packers OTAs was Chris Barnes was starting over Quay Walker. And the question was, okay, how long is it going to take for Quay Walker to push past Chris Barnes on the defense? And it looks like at least from today and um, from here, from this tweet from Ryan Wood, he did um, push ahead of Chris Barnes. And I think there's no, I mean, there's no doubt that Quay Walker is going to be, I think, a very, very good middle linebacker for this Packers defense with already having Devondre Campbell and then being able to come in in the draft. And at number 22 select, uh, a beast in Quay Walker. So he is starting over Chris Barnes. And then Kenny Clark and Jaron Reed, the two interior defensive linemen there in nickel. Um, so Devontae Wyatt, um, not starting there, but Jaron Reed starting over him. The addition from the Chiefs earlier this offseason. So that is the first look at the Packers defense. And then here we have also on the defense from Ryan Wood. Packers have Rasul Douglas at slot cornerback, Jair Alexander on the right perimeter opposite Eric Stokes. There goes the idea of shoehorning Alexander into the slot. Could certainly see him inside at times, but a sign... It won't be exclusive. Douglas's safety size beefs up the interior. So that has been one question when it comes to looking at this Packers cornerback room is who is going to spend a majority of the time, you know, at that slot, at that slot corner spot, and then who is going to also, you know, be on the outside. And earlier in this offseason, Brian Gutekunst was sort of asked about this, and he did say that he believes all of them sort of have the ability to play in the slot if they need to. So the Packers could use any of these guys in the slot. Um, Jair, Rasul, or Eric Stokes. But right now, at least today, the Packers were utilizing Rasul Douglas in the slot. And the thing is, with it only being minicamp, it's like we can't take just one practice and you know determine what we think the entire future is going to look like. But the Packers have said that they believe they can use anyone in the slot. And so I feel like we won't know until I think you know the season starts exactly what their plan is. But Rasul Douglas definitely has that ability to play in the um, at the slot position. And here we have on the D line for Matt Schneidman. Third interior defensive lineman is in TJ Slayton. Devontae Wyatt currently working on other field with twos and threes. Dean Lowry is rehabbing. So it will be interesting to see sort of how Devontae Wyatt, you know, grows with his defense, how long it will take for him to potentially start. Because I think um, eventually I feel like this season he'll push himself to being one of the starting um, interior defensive linemen. Just when you look at how explosive, fast, strong, and big he is, I feel like there's... I mean, it's just going to take a matter of time for him to, to take that spot. But right now, it seems like he's not doing that. Then we have Sammy Watkins. 
Sammy Watkins with a really nice contested catch across the middle with Jair in tight coverage. Drew some applause from the crowd. Jair even gave him a round of applause for making the catch. So to see Sammy Watkins doing some nice things against Jair, Jair is, um, you know, some I'd say some pretty good comp competition for wide receivers. So hopefully Sammy Watkins can keep this up, keep looking good out there. And then we have here for Matt Schneidman, Vernon Scott, house call on Jordan Love. Love threw well behind Josiah DeGuara on an out, and Scott picked it off. So Jay Love throwing an interception. But then a, a positive here from Jordan Love for Matt Schneidman. Love responds the very next play with a 40-yard bomb to Christian Watson for a big gain. So a little up and down there for Love. And then here we have from Ryan Wood about Jordan Love. Nice 90-second drill for Jordan Love, who finishes it with 27 seconds left on a perfect 31-yard TD on a fade down the left side to Juwan Winfrey against Jair Alexander. Great adjustment on the catch for Winfrey. That was impressive. Love was 6 for 6, 65 yards on the drive. So there's a couple of different things to, to take away with there. First off, with Juwan Winfrey having a nice catch, I feel like he is a little bit of an underdog right now because unlike Christian Watson, Romeo Dubs, Samori Torre, Sammy Watkins, all guys who are new here in Green Bay. Juwan Winfrey has been here for a couple of years. And so because of that, I do think he has a little bit of an advantage. He probably knows the playbook better already considering he has been here. He probably has a better connection, at least right now with Aaron Rodgers. So I feel like he is like a dark horse to make this roster. We'll see if he can keep it up and continue to outperform other players. Not saying he outperformed players today, but um, he had a nice catch there. And then Jordan Love finishing off nice. Six for six, 65 yards on the drive. So those are the biggest updates I saw from Packers minicamp today. I'll be back tomorrow with more videos like this, so stay tuned for those. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like on it. And if you have not subscribed, feel free to subscribe down below. But that's all for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.